Hello everyone, this is Cody from the Rancor's Brothel. Are you looking for dice and other gaming accessories for your group? If so, check out our friends over at FanRoll.com, where you can find unique dice and premium quality accessories for your table. And if you're looking for something really special, they do customization as well. Fans of the Rancor's Brothel can save 10% by using the promo code RB10 at checkout. That's R as in Rancor's, B as in Brothel, 1 0. Not only can you get yourself some great dice at a discount, but you can support this podcast as well. So check out FanRoll.com today and use promo code RB10 at checkout. Tell them the Rancor's Brothel sent you. The Rancor's Brothel presents... A Dungeons & Dragons campaign. Out of the abyss. Yep, it's alive. It's alive. It's got three hit points. (laughs) It's horribly maimed, but it's alive. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, it is sure footed. And it can charge given 20 feet of movement. <laughs> I'm Is just this thing laid out straight. It just looks like the goat from the Muppets that I showed you earlier. Yeah. <laughs> it rams. <laughs> uh, okay. This thing is going to charge straight through. Uh, over that way. So what happens to me? <laughs> <laughs> it just tramples you. You're going to get a reflex save. Uh, or a, a deck save. I'm sorry. I, I I keep I keep saying reflex save. I bet you're good at those, Turtle Boy. <laughs> Excuse me. You have a you. reaction now. You can take it. I do, but um, what is what's the deck save for? I'm like to t- get out of the way, Gaia. Then if I fail my deck save, can I take a reaction? Or I don't not? know. It depends on what the reaction is. Well, there's a couple of things. One of them, it, which would be to withdraw into my shell, which gives me a higher AC, so I would, pr- wouldn't take damage. Well, it, it's not necessarily an attack. It's just, are are you going to get trampled over by it, or are you going to get out of the way? Gotcha. Uh, you'll just take you'll take some damage from getting run over. But okay, if you guys were within five feet of me, I would be giving you guys essentially half cover. <laughs> Does this also get an attack of opportunity? If you want the attack of opportunity, you don't get the reflex save. No, I'm taking the reflex save. It's a 19 on the die, so... Nice. Uh, no, tw- you're fine. Okay. You can jump out the way. Cool. Move, that, bitch. You need to do can, that the turtle I jump, thing. Can I jump out the way this way? No, you're, you're closer this to this side. <laughs> they're suspended. Huh? They're not all... They're suspended, aren't they? The worm's not... You're closer to this side of the worm. Oh. I see what you're saying. I was just meant, like, um, instead of, with the worm coming at me this way, instead of jumping this way, I would just jump back this way instead. I don't care. You want to jump this way? I want to be closer <laughs> to, to my teammates, and I want to be able to see them. Okay, we're, we're so, all over here, so why would you go the opposite yeah. way? <laughs> you're going to the side, not this way. Right, I was, oh, I have to move laterally, I can't move in a diagonal? Yes, you're diving gotcha. out of the way as it comes at you this gotcha. way. I like to imagine it's that old, like, Hanna-Barbera thing, where the turtle in midair just pulls in all of its limbs and ducks its head as things rush by it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It wobbles for a second and then drops. Yeah. Spins in a circle yeah. and... Bang. <laughs> that would have been what would have happened if I yeah. had my shell defense. Yeah. Lucas, this thing comes rearing up and... Takes a sw- no. takes a bite at you. Can't bite me after it moves. Huh? Can't bite me after it moves. Yeah, I can. No. With a shot. <laughs> you roll a one, you hit an egg. Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck your eggs. That's a 24 to hit. No. 25 to hit. Still hits. <laughs> <laughs> Are you joining me, Lucas? Nine, oh, yeah. nine point, uh, 18 points of damage. You gross. <laughs> and deck save. Lucas is swimming in the belly of the beast. Right. You're going to get in there and be like, where the fuck did the goat come from? Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Do, are any of us even aware? Well, I, I would assume he might be, but I, I would assume neither one of us have any idea that you've got a bag of fluff. Yeah, maybe not. It hasn't been used. Uh, 19? Since we've joined the party. 19 actually meets. You do not get swallowed. Oh, shit. You got to roll a 19 or better on the yes. death save? Mm-hmm. I rolled a 15 on the die, mm-hmm. so... <laughs> Uh, and your dex is in the plus one five. more attack. It's plus four. I have not hit with that fucking tail spine once. Then just stop trying. No, <laughs> it's got better damage than the bite. How many rounds uh, have we been fighting this one? Three, four. Yeah, three or four. Three. So yeah, got, I ain't got much hates left. You got about three at max. Three rounds left. Troy, you're up. I mean, I can just cast it again, but you gotta be able to see you there, bud. <sighs> I'm sure I'm just tending the thing inside its belly. <laughs> As I try and hack my way out. (laughs) (laughs) Brave. (laughs) So do you just disengage? (laughs) Okay. You just double moved away from it? Disengaged or what? What? What did you do? I did another. I I, I rolled two single digits. Oh, got you. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that you tried to attack. Okay. Yeah. Schroeder, yeah, you're up. I didn't see the and the people at home have no idea what's going on. Uh, Neither do you, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, it didn't help. Well, it matters more that they don't know what's going on. They enjoy this. <laughs> For some fucking reason. I do, too. Um, oh, sorry, Schroeder's turn. Never mind. Dun, 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 dun. Mm, I'm not taking my slots. I should be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably a good idea, bro. One... Sorry, I was too busy making funny quips. Um, always, always, always know what your next attack is before you make a quip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This podcast would be half as long if we did that. <laughs> For sure. Uh, Wouldn't be any funnier, but would be half as long. <laughs> it's unfortunate about the owl and the goat. <laughs> can you cast Toll the Dead at a higher level? No. You can't? You'd have to read the card if it says you can. No, it's a cantrip. It's a cantrip. Oh, it is a cantrip. That's right. I thought you could... But can't you cast Chill Touch at higher levels? No. Once you hit 5th and 11th levels, Uh, your damage goes up with it. Got ya. So Toll of the Dead goes up. Got ya, got ya, got ya. Hmm. Hmm. So it might still be useful. Yeah. I just don't have a card. I don't want to look it up. It would just go up a D8, which would be the same as this. No, because it's been damaged. I think it goes to a D12. Oh, does it? Yeah. Yeah. Once it's damaged, it's D12. Then I'm going to cast Toll of the Dead, then, if it's going to do more damage. I think that's a wisdom or a... It's a save of some kind, yeah. Wisdom save? Hold on. Oh, that's why I don't... It's a Xanathar's thing. It is a wisdom save. Yeah, it's 2D12. 3D12 at next level. Yeah. It's a 1... That's a fail. Not a natural one, but a one. So it's 2d12. Mm-hmm. Roll well, it's a pretty good shot. It's not bad. 15. Nice. Necrotic, if that makes a difference. I believe, it, I believe it is necrotic. Yeah, it's necrotic. Yeah. And then, um, as a bonus action, I'm going to cast Spiritual Weapon. Okay. Take it right up to him. Just throw something uh, Do I get to attack with it the same? Yes. Yes. Okay. Here. Spiritual Weapon. Oh, cool. Any particular place? Just behind him. Closer to my side. I don't really care. Okay. It doesn't really matter. Does the worm have a gooch? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. No. What is your spiritual weapon? Uh, dildo. <laughs> <laughs> no, I missed. Okay. Big old floppy spiritual dildo just slapping the shit out of this thing. Got a turtle shell, like, you know, texture to it. It's just bringing Burt Kreischer's flying dildo story to life. Mm-hmm. Lucas, you're a machine. <laughs> um, me? Okay. Does this thing stand as tall as I am in the air? Then it can. It just bit him. Is it as high as him? That's, I guess, that's the real question. Still, like, it, can I hit it from standing on here? Or do I need to drop to the ground to do that? No, I'd let you get an attack. Cool. So then I will grab shield and shield and uh, sword. Good God. Brain death. I didn't realize you carried a shield. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I have to certain thing certain things I have only work for a one handed weapon, so I carry a shield. Um like I have dueling, so it's plus two to the damage. Get the buckler. Which is not a thing anymore. 
That buckler was so cool, though. Think about all the people running around like... Yeah. My thing works for a minute, so I still get sneak attack if I hit. On the first one. Pizza box is just attached to it's their on arms. The first hit. Right. Right. Yeah. The first swing misses. Oh, okay. Because it was a single digit. That is... I got my man in. Uh, 22 to hit. That'll hit. And that one is a D6. Sneak attack coming from the duelist? Huh? Sneak attack coming from the duelist? No, it's his insight. It's my insight uh, fighting. Got it. I knew it was... I just couldn't remember which one it came from, or what it is, where exactly it was coming from. That the, okay, I already have that written down. So 17 damage. You poke it in an eye stalk. Suck on it, worm boy. Um, <clears throat> bonus action hide. Nice. You don't have anything to hide behind. I get in cat loaf form. You know what I'm talking about? Where they look like a loaf of bread and just like get real low. <laughs> right in the middle of the thing. Curl up. Okay. You think you have a cover bonus. <laughs> 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 to be fair, he wouldn't know that he didn't. This whole thing was a joke. I was hoping it would be funny. No. Nope. You've just um, given yourself disadvantage or given it advantage to hit you. Um, I think you said enough dumb things that we all just assumed you were yeah, being dumb. That's, that's fair. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have any decent, because uh, I can't really, well, I could move, but I don't really. Did you already blow your action surge load? Yes. Uh, yeah, I blew it on the first 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 hit that I did, mm. which did decent damage, so I wasn't too mad about it. But yeah, I don't really have any any other bonuses. I mean, I could try to move, but I'm only going to get so far. Well, with feline agility, I could move double my speed, but that's not going to get me much further than I am because of the stickiness, right? I mean, you're trying to run away from this thing? Isn't it technically a disengage? He's already taken his action. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you could bonus action disengage. Oh, that you is are, true. You are a rogue. But I can't get very far. On you, the sticky, you could right? jump. You could go 30 feet. Jump on the worm. Well, don't worry about it. I was going to worry about And then when he spine attacks and misses you, he stabs himself. I stay where I'm at. Cool. You might even hit Grady through it, depending on how hard <gasps> he stabs. Grady. You're up. Kill it from the inside, please. Got one more fluff ball. Mm -hmm. Get it, goat! <laughs> uh, I will continue to stab with my glaive on the inside of its innards. Go for it. That seems to be the better decision, though the less fun one. Reckless attack. Still got one more fluff ball. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, first roll is a 12, which isn't going to hit. Does its insides have any different AC? That no. is a fair it's question. Coming. Really? That'd be nice if it did. Be a little squishier, I would imagine. 22. Sure. That'll hit. Uh, D10 plus 8. Uh, 17. Okay. Third attack. 18. You only have like special that die that you can add to your shit to do fun stuff? Yeah. Do you want me to maneuver myself? Like, yeah. Like, it's, <laughs> I don't think Jeff's... Jeff, I'd like to use my maneuver to push an ally <laughs> out the mouth of this thing. If you should push the, the goat out. Uh, Maybe. Save the goat. <laughs> uh, uh, seven, uh, 15 Save more damage. The goat. <laughs> 17 and 15? Why did I just hit you 15. so late? <laughs> I saw the 7 and started saying, s and it came out 17. No, the first hit was 17. Correct. 17 and 15. So that's 32. Correct. That's 32. <laughs> How do you like 32 damage to your colon? Do purple worms have colons? I don't know. We're about to see. How many hearts does it have? It can't really be happy with me stabbing its insect. Constitution save. Oh, it's going to throw me up. A natural one. Natural one. It's Even with a plus six to con, it hurls Kira and a, a mutilated goat <laughs> that's still braying pathetically out onto the ground. <laughs> Get it, goatsy. Mass, heal <laughs> mass healing word. <laughs> That's the goat. Heal it while it's in the air so it doesn't take fall damage. <laughs> oh, I saw somebody the do goat. a trick in New Vegas that was badass the other day. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll have to show it to you. It was... In New Vegas? Yeah. yeah. Y'all done? Uh, it's right. goat's turn. No, I've done three attacks. Oh. Oh, yep. Okay. Is second wind a bonus action? It is. It is. Uh, the goat gets to attack. I will take ram it. my second wind. So it's 1d10 plus 6 hit points for me. Huh? That's fair. 12. Yeah. No, the goat gets to attack. And just rams an egg. 
Yeah. It'd be funny if the goat does kill someone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if the goat's got 20 feet, it can ram. It does. <laughs> it's got 15 feet. Yeah. It can take a step back and then go forward. <laughs> <laughs> yes, take a step back. <laughs> yeah. I can't see what's behind there. Uh, uh, the giant goat uh, rolls plus five to hit. It rolls an eight. Okay, cool. <laughs> it hits it and just goes... <laughs> <laughs> Lucas. I didn't think the goat was actually going to get a hit, so I wasn't even... Well, hey, there's two targets now. Uh-huh. Bite. Uh, 21. Okay. Uh, so you said 21. 27 to hit. Yeah, that'll hit. Uh, I have a parry, but that only gives me a plus one. So that 13 will more damage. Its movement speed also drops to zero. Not that I think that it was going anywhere, but... Okay. Tailspine. Um, Did you do the damage for the bite? Not I, yet, no. He hit the spine. That's all he cares about. I've been waiting. I I would... Mm. What? Not that I was going to do a thing, but you oh, already well, go got ahead. excited. I wanted to see if I could maneuver Lucas away so you couldn't swing at him. Well, that would be useful. Uh, no, because I was already swinging at him. Well... You get one attack, and then he gets a sentinel, and then you get a second attack. How 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 does it work? Well, I don't. It just says when you hit a creature with a weapon attack, you can expend a superiority die. Right. I don't know if I can do that on a reaction, though, or not. I don't know why I couldn't. I don't either. Because I would get an extra D8 of damage, and I could move Lucas out of harm's way, theoretically. But the only way you're going to get out of harm's way is to fall off that thing, Lucas. Yep. It's a 20-foot drop. It's 30. No, it's 30. 30. Oh, it's 30 feet where I'm at. Sorry. So, yeah, you're you're not wrong. I'm probably still taking less fall damage than I am from a spine. Do you want me to use this to have you fall off of the thing? I mean, ideally no, but... <laughs> Alright, hit him with the spine, Jeff. Give me, I, the I, give me the fucking damage for the bite first. Because don't I have to make a con save before I even... You, well, you do have to make it. So I could be swallowed before you hit me with the spine. Yes, anyway. in that case, the spine will go at Kira. That's 21 points of damage. Okay. And so... What kind of save does he have to make to not get swallowed? Dex save. Right. Sure. Theoretically, he should he made last time. Nineteen. I have to have it. They have to get it. Yeah, but he should have it. His dex save. He's and a rogue. Is only a plus four. What's your save? Plus four. You I mean, went I have, proficient. I'm not, I'm not proficient. You went fighter man. first. Yeah, I went fighter first. I'm not uh, proficient. Now. Never mind. Nope. Carry on. I'm swallowed. I am swallowed. So the spine goes elsewhere. Spine goes to you. It's a good thing that my. Uh, I don't know. I got nothing. Carry on. <laughs> Do damage. <laughs> I don't know. I got nothing. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't gotten hit with it yet. I don't even... Nope. This one's D6. About to get Steve Irwin. Maybe it hits the goat instead. Roll a... Roll a... That is... Not fi- great. 15 points of damage. Seven. And, and a con save. Seven and a con save. That shit poisoned you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Purple worm poison is actually one of the poisons that you can buy correct uh-uh. yeah. it's 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 real bad uh con save you said right correct so i get that does this add anything i don't think it does because this is all speed i only have this for one more turn i think correct. that sounds right uh, do i sorry i'm not used to my totem <laughs> that's resistance for some reason i thought i got advantage on nope no okay 10 cool you already ate me. You might as well poison me. I may be paralyzed too. So I'm paralyzed, I'm paralyzed. now that's more rolling like a man. Maybe there's a lot of threes and ones in there. Twenty the threes. Six. Oh shit! Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, it's gonna hurt. Do you have it? Cause you're raging. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he hasn't taken that much damage. Uh, 40 points of damage. I believe you said 20 points of damage, Jeff. No, I said 40 points of damage. I believe you said 20 points of damage. Jeff. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you... eat a dick. <laughs> <laughs> You've done enough damage to me to have killed everyone else at the table, I think. And me, if I weren't raging. Uh, are there any long-lasting I... side effects to that, I presume? I or is don't it just... believe it's You rolled a shit ton than... of damage, so I don't think that there's anything it is. But... It is 12d6 poison damage on a failed save. Um, but nothing else. You're not paralyzed or anything like that. I say, when you threw the first set, I'm like, okay, that bust paralysis. And then you picked up another set, and I'm like, oh, no, that's got to be just straight damage. Yep. That's actually not bad for me. 
Troy, you're up. So you're not par- <clears throat> not paralyzed? No. Cool. I'm hurting a little bit. No need for the old Lester. No. That's a four. That's a two. Offhand. Wow. <laughs> hey, you know what? Can we switch places where you're the swallowed one? Because Lucas is doing more damage than you right now. <laughs> you and Troy now? backs out again. Summon your panther or something. Can it hit shit? Yeah. Schroeder, you're up. And it's a lynx. Can't you just, like, take your sword and lay it on its skin <laughs> and the fire will do damage? I mean, you would think. <laughs> Slap it in the ass. That's funny. <laughs> Flat blade. Um, do, 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 do. You said it has plus six con. So we're probably not going to roll that one. Uh, I'll just toll the dead it again. Yeah, I mean, it's damage. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, it has to make the save first. Yeah. I bet it's wisdom's uh, not great. 16 plus. Oh, it saved. Oh, shit. Unless the minus. It is a 15. Oh. oh. <laughs> then then I hit. <laughs> 2d12. Uh, where'd I put it? What the? What? Yeah, nothing. There's all these things I keep forgetting I have. Not bad damage. <laughs> like Hunter's 16 Mark. 16 damage. Hunter's Mark and psionic dice and... Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> you know, two months off is not it's an excuse. Six, so 16 damage. I'm not using that as an excuse. And then I will attack with my uh, my bonus action will be the attack from the spiritual weapon. Spiritual dildo. Uh, yeah, 24. Uh, that'll hit. Yeah, and I believe it's just a D8 plus spell casting. Yes. Dick slap. So, uh, seven damage. I'll take a picture of that. Lucas. This is going to hurt. You should do a lot of damage and get out. Well, I use my action surge, so I can really only do two swipes with it. Um, you are re- you are restrained. You are blinded, so you have disadvantage to hit. Um, well, if I use fighting spirit, it gives me advantage, so it's a straight roll. Correct. And another plus five temp. <clears throat> that it. That's a natural 20. Couldn't tell if it was an eight. Or it's got a weird, like, snake thing. It looks like an eight. What's with you and buying dice you can't read? I got those from a Kickstarter for free. I didn't actually pay for it. What's with you and you keeping dice You paid for a Kickstarter, right? <laughs> yeah, but the dice was free. Okay. that That's what they tell you. <laughs> that's, how they, that's how they hook it. That's how they hook it. Troy, uh, Troy's sorry. just head slap. God damn it. <laughs> just like... <laughs> Natural 20. So, Jesus Christ. <laughs> It's better. Seven. <laughs> I'm going to add your sneak attack damage to that. Eleven. It doesn't see it coming. <laughs> 20, 20 damage from within on the first hit. Why would you have sneak attack? Because I still have that. That the thing doesn't go away. It lasts a minute. Oh, yeah. He does have that ability going. <laughs> it doesn't just drop because I get swallowed. You are blinded. You can't observe its movements. <laughs> Bummer. <laughs> Last a minute. Uh, second attack, I guess, apparently misses. So, okay, twenty. Uh, does enough it to make have it to? Wrench? Does it have to? No, twenty is not enough to make it. Wrench. Oh, it's a, ma- it's a point. Yep. Amount? Yeah, it has to be oh, dealt so, so much realize. damage from within. That was probably your one shot to get out. That I didn't realize because you crit it. I'm like, oh, you'll get it, Grady. Uh, reckless. Yep. Still raging. Time to tell it to eat a dick. Uh, twenty three will hit. It will. Uh. That's a 10 plus 8, so 18. Uh, Grady, describe your kill. Oh, man. Uh, I just realized I added the wrong modifier. I should have had two more hit points, but that's about, doesn't matter. <laughs> I added my longbow modifier. Good. Uh, Wait, it had two more hit points? It should have taken two more hit points. Oh, it should have taken two more hit points. <laughs> uh, Which probably wouldn't have killed it, so it's fine. Oh, man, I don't know. Uh... It's some sort of leaping attack, clearly. The just, thing is bending down to bite, and the glaive just... Because I get the sense that, like, Kira uses this like a goddamn baton twirler or some shit. Kira was in guard or something, because, like, this thing <laughs> fucking color swings. Guard. <laughs> like, just big old goddamn arcs and just brings it down. Do they have... Does this purple worm have eyes? No. Like... Remember, it can't see. Wherever the brain is, I feel like it just... She just leaps up, swings it around, and just brings it straight through into some sort of brain pan or central nervous system. And it just starts twitching all over the place. 
before it finally retches and Lucas just like slides out the mouth covered in acid. Awesome. I've never gotten to have a purple worm fight. Nor a beholder fight. I was I was happy about that. Oh, I we're not out. done with beholder fights. I know. I come out covered in goop and just start birth. hawking up a hairball. <laughs> Uh, is that girl, little girl still there? Yeah, she's been standing there the whole fucking time. Uh, you look back, and no, she's not. Mm. <laughs> she knows. Uh, yes, which means the drow will be here. Because mm. they won't no, you. No, she was lost. She couldn't find the drow, so we're fine. You look back, and you see her over here on this lowest one. And she's been over there, hidden, completely avoiding everybody's attention, and is just chipping away at this thing. Okay. I go, where exactly do you, how exactly do you think you're going to carry that anywhere? I came down here to get one. I appreciate your spirit, I say, as I lay down in a puddle of acid and gore and blood everywhere. Uh, you guys can make a, make a perception check. Ooh, that was actually a really good one for me. I saw nothing. 26. 25. 17. The two of you notice them. You see more things. Oh, fuck off. Ooh, leftovers. You see a whole a whole group of drow. And they're all standing there watching and just like jaws dropped. First of all, they're staring up at the the woman up front is staring at Han. And these guys are just watching you guys. Yeah. I just give them a thumbs up. <laughs> No. I don't even have opposable thumbs. <laughs> no, I meant. <laughs> I don't even know what. Is it more like that? Probably. I don't know. Oh, no, I imagine Kira go, kind of goes, "Fucking hell!" Stands up, like I'm... swipes the blood off of her, and ignites the thing as bright as it will go, and starts moving in that direction. <laughs> Who's next? I definitely I mean, turn. Ready I wouldn't to throw start an AOE. fight. I would just Fuck see if you. they are actually wanting to fight. Like we're not hurting the girl. No, 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 but I'm walking in that direction, presuming that the lady wearing, like, the dwarven armor, uh, and, uh... I just turn and look and say an undercommon, are you next? Once you guys notice them, Han looks up and notices them, and she yells, mother. I yell, fucker. (laughs) I go, shame, and keep walking. (laughs) Um... I look to our drow as if to say, little help. <laughs> make, me st- make me go away. That, that, that would be, uh, no, no, they didn't see it at home, but the, yeah, like I just look at him like, the fuck are you talking about? I don't know. You literally saw a gang of crips come in and went to the only blood and said, hey, why don't you talk <laughs> hey, to them? Make that work, will you? They're your people, right? Malvaeus, you do recognize the, the woman. Ooh. Your wife, bro, bro. Remind the people at home who she is again. <laughs> <laughs> she she's a purple worm or a purple worm egg hunter that right. was allied with House Midstrom. You would have met her at some point. I think you made an intelligence check to know who she was. Right, a ally, ally, aligned how or allied how? Allied is in like sells goods to them and things like that. Oh, so okay, you has, got a report. Has dealings with. Okay, so you got a report. So, so it. You guys decide. Are you, are, you, are you going to start a fight, or are you going to talk? Well, as I notice that Kira is probably <laughs> marching forward, I will, like, step in the middle to, like, like, just intervene and try to start a dialogue. Okay. I'm intentionally keeping the, uh, the thing bright. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's right. How bright is my thing? <laughs> what thing? Uh, Senor Flame Tongue. Honestly? I mean, it's it's bright light, but hers is actual sunlight. Right. <laughs> yeah, they. <laughs> as you come around the carcass of this giant worm, and they're bathed in sunlight, they're all like. <laughs> to reach that far. As I keep it walking doesn't, closer, it doesn't it matter. Will. It's I mean, it's right where they're looking. Fair. Like they're looking the kid into goes, the sunrise, kid goes blind and she falls and dies. Worm. I'm like the goddamn archangel of death <laughs> walking around the corner here. So, what are you here for? We're here for eggs. Same, same. And after? Uh, 
Well, first of all, we watched you take that thing out. We don't want any part of it. Um, we just want some eggs and we want to go. They don't want it. And, I mean, it, it looks like you've at least taken care of my daughter. We've kept her safe. Damn yeah. right, you don't want this smoke. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want it. I appreciate that. Han is all good. Yeah, Mom. Whatever. I mean, yes, part of me is still worried that they're going to go back and report, but... How far are we no, from you're, Men's Branch? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm making light of this conversation, but this is... This is it's almost um, uncharacteristic for Drow, for, like, how heartfelt the, the, re, the reunion is. Like, highborn families, there's not this familial relation between mother and daughter. The, these two are genuinely running up and like hugging yeah you're it high like like you said like how's drow like really high up drow like the family you would have come from your siblings would have tried to have killed each other like basically since birth your parent your mother would have encouraged it like this you're used to game of thrones shit so like this whole like ah mom like the fact that the jeff even played it off as oh hey you're okay cool i'm like that's not that's not typical drow behavior okay now, that would give Kira pause. The sun blade wouldn't go down, wouldn't wouldn't stop being sun, but it definitely would be angled downward because that's very strange for Drow. What is the temperament of the other folks? Uh, the other folks, I mean, she's in charge. I understand, but are are they side eyeing me? Are they like they they don't they don't specifically have any idea who you are? I know, but just. The fact that you're a drow running around with surfacers, or... Kind of. I mean... How do I say this? Um, to to folks like this, to the lowborn, to the, the working class, a drow that got out would probably be more of a legend than an object of ridicule. Okay. Does she recognize me? Yes. Okay. Just be like, hey, we did you a favor, maybe... Not say that I'm out here. I mean, yeah, I would would convey that you know your silence about our presence would be. No, you 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 reunited me with my daughter. I mean, you you have my gratitude. If if there's something I can do to help you guys out, I'm I'm happy to. You have a tank. You got a bag of holding. I do not. You have a bag for the eggs. I got, I got some mushrooms you can have. At least a bag to carry the eggs. He likes those. We can help you get the eggs down. That would be useful. Yeah. We could take a couple. I will uh, I will uh, turn off uh, the glaive. Okay. How far away, how far back would our metal buddy be? Uh, he was up a level, actually. Like, we went down a hole, so. I understand. I mean, he's not, he's not super far away. Yeah, I, was saying, I don't think we, I don't remember us getting terribly distanced from it. Yeah, I mean, are we just going to be able to like move an egg or multiple eggs out of here? Uh, the <clears throat> the the shield guardian could carry one. I mean, Kira could probably carry one, but not easily. I mean, they could help oh, us yeah. get back up to where we were. I was going to ask, like, do they, they have like a group. satchel that is that we could, you know? How do utilize? they transport the eggs? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea how a bunch of drow carry around a three foot fucking egg that I think I, I think I read somewhere that it's like 180 pounds. Nice. Jesus. Oh, no, I know where I got 180 pounds. I I I I went to a website and calculated how much would uh, three cubic um, feet of water weigh. Oh, yeah. And that's how I figured out how much it would weigh. But it's probably less than that, but I know what you're like. It's probably not the book doesn't tell you how much it weighs. No, it doesn't. Because I mean, eggs are well. I guess eggs are mostly fluid. Yeah, they're probably not as heavy as water. An egg, a yolk, is probably less dense than water. I would think parts of it anyway. Well, this isn't necessarily a sure a it's yolk not a chicken egg either. Yeah, I get it. This legitimately has a a worm inside. Sure, but a fertilized egg and an unfertilized egg don't weigh any different. I have no idea. I've never weighed them. I just eat them. Now, I feel like you could get some ropes on it and get some rollers or something. I'm sure we can figure out a way to move some of these eggs. Yes, I, I'm sure there's a way. I'm I'm not worried about I'm not worried about the mechanics of you guys carrying them. 
if you get jumped in the middle of carrying them, there that may be a thing. But sure, but let's get a couple of these. Let's try and get a couple of these ferried back to our camp. Um, uh, I'll look at I'll look at the drow lady in charge. Uh, split them with you. How many of them do you want? Uh, I don't know. Hadn't decided yet. I mean, the answer before you walked one, in the door two, was three, all. Four, five. We don't need. You said there were half a dozen. Yeah. Maybe? We don't need 36 eggs. Do it for but I'd rather maybe. have 36 eggs and not need them. <laughs> we don't well, have a feasible way to carry 3,600-ish pound things. We A day from here, we have a group of individuals. We can get the eggs back. Right. We're, we were only going to come for a couple at a time. Um, we could leave the rest here. I wouldn't wait around too long, though. Sure. I presume that they are... Uh, a mated pair. Correct. She uh, spits again out a giant thing of bile. It's like, yeah, I'll rest before the next one comes back. Okay. Where are we going after this? We need to take the egg back to yeah. the tower. We're inviting breaking the egg the longer we're away from its suppose destination. I suppose that's true. Okay. That, but that that's, why we're, that's why we're forming a picket line, though. But do we need advice on where we're going next? from people who probably know the lay of the land a little better. I mean, we could have a conversation with them, see if they have any. The closest thing next to us, I believe, was the Beholder. (laughs) Cody is excited. I'm very excited to fight a Beholder in its lair. It's gonna suck. (laughs) (laughs) I'll I'll just sort of generally ask, these are the tasks, or these are places that we are intending to go. Do you have any... uh, do you have any knowledge, knowledge of the area, of the area west where of to here, go. or yeah, we're, where to avoid? I mean, we go, we go all over the worm writhings. I mean, we, I, I, I've never been to the vast oblivion, but I know it. Uh, the the beholder there has he he's kind of taken over the area. Um, he's got a complex dug out. Uh, he has uh, he has slaves. I don't know. I don't know how many. I there there's a. Probably, oh, probably a varying number. <laughs> Spits out more bile. Mm. Looking forward to it. You mean he don't controls we... this area for now? <laughs> and they we... look at me incredulously. I turn and look at the worm, and then look back at them. We also have some experience with beholders. From what I, from what I understand, Karazakar's taken out others. I mean, he's. Yeah, we have two. That's far from our toughest fight. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Don't worry about it. <laughs> He's throwing up gang signs. <laughs> gang, gang. Um, the only other thing in the worm writhings was him, correct? That we needed to, that we were tasked with getting. I believe so. Yes, I believe so. No. So let's let's try and ferry a reasonable number of eggs, three, four, whatever. Get them back to the tower, and then we can head on to yeah. checking out the okay. beholder. Off we go. Are you doing anything else in here? I would like to search the body of the the, the giant. You don't find anything on the giant. Really? Okay. No. Uh, if you go back further this way, you find his room. That's oh, no. yeah. I wasn't going there yet, but that was on the right. list. I, I figured it would be. Is there anything worth taking off of the worm? That poison. was the poison, poison sack. Probably the, the uh, make a survival instinct. check to see how well you can. Oh shit! A survival check to see how well you can carve that worm up. Twenty-two. This That's is really pretty good. good. That ain't bad at all. He's good. He's good. <laughs> when I found out what you guys were playing, I was like, I need to make a character that's going to be able to make all of these rolls. <laughs> so, I mean, I got I've got pretty good survival. I just roll really low. I just get I get bonus because of race on top of that. Survival is my best roll. It's a plus ten. Turtles don't win races. Uh, look up how look up how much <laughs> purple worm win. poison is worth. Uh, is that in? The... I have no idea. Google it. Five e. Mm. Purple worm poison. Because I know it's still a thing, but. <sighs> Two thousand gold. No shit. Sell the fuck out of that. For how much? A bottle? The poison is worth 2,000 gold. It just says as a consumable, so whatever... It would be a vial of poison then. 
Well, I was not leaving here without harvesting that purple worm. Yeah, like, no, for sure. We didn't take out something that's in the top ten of D and D, but it's decent. Wow, it actually is. Holy shit! You start yeah, putting buddy. that shit in the vials. <laughs> So we got 75 vials, right? No. <laughs> oh my god, I can finally buy a ring of elemental power. <laughs> you can't buy a ring of elemental power. Okay. Last time I checked, they were like 200,000 gold. Mm. We get enough poison. I got one at 10th level one time in a game that we were definitely... Has it been long enough now to know what that ring is? Is it a ring of elemental Who's wearing power? It? Oh, I have it on me because I'm the one who found it. How many items are you attuned to? Two. Okay. Uh, no. You have to sit and meditate with it over a short rest. Uh, you find a room off of the, uh, God. What's it Cavern? called? The oh, echo Cavern. chamber. Oh. Uh, a room back here off of the echo chamber with, piled with, with furs and, uh, sh- Stuff for for sleeping on. So uh, did both the worm and the giant live here? I'm not judging. I'm just interested. <laughs> uh, the giant was a caretaker. That's the way it sounded. Caretaker. Called for someone to help. Yep. Uh, room trouble. number six is actually called the caretaker's quarters. Caretaker. He regularly checks the eggs, brushes fungus off them, and defends them against predators. <laughs> Sucks at his but job. What's in his room? He tried. Uh, Stronk is sleeping on a pile of skins and loudly snoring when the adventurers arrive. Well, that's not quite true. Oh, well, he was. You made until that. somebody started going, dang. <laughs> yeah. Um. Man. There it is. Uh, all the treasure Stronk has taken from his victims have been placed under his sleeping skins <laughs> for safekeeping. Forty platinum. Woo! An Electrum brooch worth 120 gold, six gems worth 50 gold, and two potions, and a book. 40 platinum. 120 gold. 120, 120 gold golds. for the Electrum brooch. 620 gold gems. Well, were there five gems worth 50 or five gems worth 50 apiece? <laughs> six gems worth 50. Six gems total worth 50. Oh. So. so 300 gold? No. Yeah, no. Two oh. potions of greater healing. Ah. Oh, nice. And a book of drow poetry worth a hundred gold. Huh. Is Who it wants worse the, than Vogon poetry? Who wants the greater healing? I mean, you're squishy. Uh, apparently so are you when you get attacked 12 times. <laughs> <laughs> apparently you're not so strong when a house falls on you, Troy. <laughs> and you step back by that opening, I'm like, God damn. I mean, I have... Yeah. My AC is 19, as long as I'm not... So we currently have 210 gold, 65 platinum, 9 gems, I would assume totaling 50, or 6 gems worth 50, yeah, whatever. And then the 120 gold brooch and the 100 gold drow GP, and a vial of poison worth 2,000. I'm going to get more than one vial off that purple worm. Yeah, how 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 are we determining how many vials we're getting? 17. I'll roll d d20. I think that's fair. I'm going to give you successive survival checks. Each time the DC is going to go up. Okay, so you got one What's so far. What's your plus? <coughs> 10. 10? Starts at 20. It's going to go up to 22. Okay. So, so far he already has one from the first he success. Has one dose. <laughs> God damn. She lied about your plus. That's a 29. Two doses. 24. That is a 27. Three Can you doses. Give yourself a plus 1d4. Ooh. Guidance. <laughs> Good call. 26. What is that? I can't see it. I can't read your dice because you don't yeah, have. They all look the same. It's a 7. So it's a 17. What's it got to be? 26. You can't, 26. You can't, you can't get there. Yeah. Three doses. That's something. That's a fair way to do it, I think. It is fair. Well, I I'm not. It. I would have preferred seventeen, but <laughs> Three. I've never bought a ring of elemental power, Jeff. So think about how badass it must be to drop fat stacks on. Yeah, the, I've got this ring of elemental power worth two hundred two hundred thousand gold. Here you go, bro. So we've got six thousand gold worth. You of, do. Okay. That's nice. Um, 
Bet we could sell that to the wizard. One other piece of information you can find out about the the beholders from them. You have they have heard that the 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 head slave. Um, hang on a second. Let me find his name. I'm a restaurant. <clears throat> Is that my DMG? No, it's mine. Shedrack. Uh, it, it's kind of it, the the beholder's favorite slave. That uh, kind of kind of the right hand man. The butler ah. uh, has put out word that the that Karazakar is looking for information about the maze engine. I have no idea what it is. But I know that that's... We just walk into Westworld. Is that a thing from Westworld? The maze. Oh, yeah. I never did see the last season. I need to go back and rewatch the whole thing. It was good. I mean, the first two seasons were great, so... I was going to start it over at some point. Huh. I didn't enjoy the second season as much. The first and the third were really good. I love that, that era of history with the Japanese culture, so I loved it. Oh, yeah, I forgot about all that. Yeah. But, now, yeah. 20 on a nature check... How crucial are these worms to the ecosystem around here? I mean, there wouldn't be much travel through this area without them. But, like, it's already kind of made at this point, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why? Uh, you get a card because that's a skill check. That is oh. true. I'm, I'm not sure how to answer your question. How crucial are they to the current ecosystem? I mean, they are most of the ecosystem in the worm writhings. So. Okay. And they're there's only exact, two, so... They're exactly half of the worm writhings. Technically, one is them. The other half is what they do. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they're pretty much the ecosystem. Does that answer your question? It does. Okay. I mean, you got in that 20. I want to give you the information that you're wanting, but sometimes I'm just not... That's a very vague question, and it's I'm not... not vague at all. Uh, what's your What's your cutout? You said you had an early cutout tonight. I don't actually have to work tomorrow. Oh, okay. They, they told me that about four thirty this afternoon. I just want to check it's, it's ten o'clock, ten fifteen. You know, I don't, I don't of... know how much longer I'm going to last. But well, that's also fair. Well, just make a plan for what we're going to do next. Yeah. I mean, we want to get the eggs back to the wizard. That's the thing. Yeah. So, what do you want us to do? Um. Do you want are you are you taking them back to the to your to your camp? Yeah. Hold on. And, They're on the- and having your your people ferry them back? Ooh, I wouldn't leave those alone with those people. I would. We would. We want to travel with them to make sure they're safe. You realize that's basically like saying we're going to take two months to do this, right? Yep. Forgive me. What was the point of bringing them back? Like, what? Was it, what, what? Why did he need them for? They're reagents to the spell to send all the demon lords back. And Correct. we don't want to be there for that when he receives the egg and make sure he receives the egg safely. I don't think we need to physically hand it to him like legitimately we could send the eggs back and while the eggs are being sent back we could go to the beholder get the beholder shit done and almost catch up with the eggs mm-hmm. I suppose it's fair like it's literally like here if you said let's drive to Avon to go get something and then let's right. go to Carmel it's like you can but it's really out and about All right, we have hirelings my, uh, let's my, sleep or something my thought was <laughs> Uh, to destroy the remaining eggs. See, I kind of disagree with that in the instance that the eggs we are taking get destroyed, and then we don't have any. Well, correct. We could destroy all but, but... No, part of my thought is... is stash some somewhere. Like, they're valuable, so let's get the eggs back, figure out how we're going to ferry them, and then our group from camp could come back and continue to take the eggs. Mm. Okay. Because I like setting that up as a semi-permanent camp until they take all the eggs and get all the eggs, start getting the eggs ferried, then everybody can leave with ferrying all the eggs back to the wizard. Well, I mean, eventually the second half of this pairing is going to show up and they're going to all get eaten, so. I think they'll hear it coming. It only moves moves 30 feet per second when it's it's, uh, tunneling. So, yeah, let's take, let's get the eggs back to the camp first and see if Jeff has anything for us there. Okay. How, how far away from the camp were we? I say it's like a day I, or two. I think it was twelve miles. Two days. So is that was a day and a half. A day and a half. Okay. So ideally, we rest at some point. That's what I was trying to figure out. Yes, uh, and you can spend enough time to figure out that ring would have been really helpful up there. Probably. Uh, it's a ring of free action. Ooh, I don't know what that does, but I will Google that. It gives you free actions. 
Not quite the same as free use. Creative Commons zero ring. Mm. All right, over there, big guy. Yeah. It's been a long couple weeks. So we make it back to camp then? Uh, we'll deal with camp next time. Okay. We don't make it back to camp. <laughs> That's what you that will, tells me. You will get your rest and everything like that. My watch told me it was almost bedtime anyway, so. it's uh, The ring has to do with uh, rough terrain. Exactly. Would have been real helpful climbing those strands. Yeah. And anybody, getting out of the... Okay. So if anybody wants that ring, now you know what it does. Does it also help with grapple and shit? Just says, while you wear this ring, difficult terrain does not cost you extra movement. In addition, magic can neither reduce your speed nor cause you to be paralyzed or restrained. So, like, it's a so great yes. thing to have. I'm just I'm offering it up to the group because somebody So, even if it. you'd gotten swallowed by the purple worm, you couldn't have been restrained. Also true. I um, thought it was really, really weird that they put that in there like that. No takers, I'll take my third item. So, magic is what caused that restraint, not lack of... No, it was the fact that you were swallowed. But a ring of free action is like freedom of movement. You also cannot be restrained. Yeah. Uh, your speed cannot be reduced. No, it, says, it specifies magic. In addition, magic can oh, either yeah. reduce okay. your speed okay. nor cause you to be paralyzed or restrained. Okay, my bad. So it's so only reason... It's you the, it's you the can magic still be thing. swallowed. Yeah. So, either way. All right, I guess I'll wear, all, uh, wear two rings. Fuck your shit, Jeff. I'm all good if you kill my shit. Our title track, Elders, is provided by Sleep for the Weary off their debut album, Nocturnes. Learn more about the band at sleepfortheweary.com. Want to continue the conversation? Find us on Facebook at Fans of the Rancor's Brothel or on Twitter at Rancor's underscore brothel. Need more actual play episodes? Find over a thousand individual episodes at our website, rancorsbrothel.com. Thank you for listening. Much love and keep circulating the tapes. Time to leave. Know that.